this is regarding tabaruj especially during weddings I would like to know, i mean I, i recently got in the concept of tabaruj with the aya in suratul ahzab if i'm not wrong so i, I want you to know its implications in weddings especially with regards to weddings okay do ladies celebrate the wedding in their private place or they mingle with men with the ladies mingling alhamdulillah that's not the case but with even with ladies around is there wonderful uh, so in this case if a woman is wearing her hijab or wearing an outer garment when she attend the wedding hall with other muslim women and she removes the robe and she's wearing a nice dress provided it is not shown in any part of the aura oh sheikh but it's an expensive dress a lot of jewelry v neck and uh, you know this is uh, it doesn't matter and she's wearing a full makeup no problem she's attending with women no problem these are all muslim women enjoy it or even if non muslims women non muslim women are attending no problem the moment that i know that i will be attending in a place where there are men who are not mahram makeup is absolutely haram forbidden wearing any attractive dress is absolutely forbidden and obviously do not wear any perfume or fragrance but women together clapping singing having fun um wearing whichever dress as long as it is not shown nor displaying the aura what is the aura the aura of woman in this case is from the navel to the knee so a woman can breastfeed a baby in front of other women no problem in case of being secure again is the fitna but those tied uh, yoga pants tied uh, dresses showing the details of the aura is definitely haram even in front of your own son or daughter or your parents barakallahu fikum